you know, in school, I wasn't, I had a hard time in school. They talk about concepts and unless I could really visualize or understand what they were talking about, they just kind of said, this happens because of this. Unless I understood the because of, I couldn't remember it. I couldn't retain it. So I always needed to dig, dig deeper and create a mental image of what's occurring, which caused me to learn very slowly and kind of get frustrated with stuff. On the other hand, that uh, the stuff I did learn, I would learn very well and I'd build up these building blocks and be able to understand more. And then I'd have to test to see if they were correct. So it helped me stump that in combination with, I worked at Hughes Aircraft for a while in the environmental test lab where we were testing military hardware for various environments. And again, I learned to, you know, test something, check what you intuitively think, and then what happens sometimes align, sometimes they don't, but it's wonderful to test it and figure it out. I think I've done a pretty good job of envisioning sound in my head, in my head of like uh, picturing um, the way sound interacts and finding parallels in other things in life, you know, like waves and water. You can say when I surf, I can see a south swell come in, I can see a north swell come in, and I can see that they overlap each other and yet they don't interfere with each other until they're breaking. Um, and sound waves are similar from multiple sources. Yeah, I completely connect with you on that, um, seeing the things you know about sound and applying that to different things in life. And that's a whole other conversation. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that a lot of the people watching right now are, are interested in that. And I want you to talk on, you know, I think that for me, learning every little way to do every um, little task on every piece of equipment is futile, right? Because you're not going to be on that piece of equipment every day unless you have a really cush um, touring gig. Mm -hmm. um, but I think learning the basics, understanding how it looks, understanding things intuitively really allows you to walk up to any situation. And do you feel like that's been the case for you in both adapting to situations and making innovative products throughout the years? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, having a um, having those fundamental building blocks. I mean, the one that I'm um, focusing on now, maybe the next video or one of the videos I'm going to do coming up has to do with supplying phantom power from front of house and monitors simultaneously. And there's a lot of um, chatter or, or questions about or mis misperceptions that um, if you supply 48 volts from front of house and you supply it from monitors, there's a rumor started that that would blow up your microphone. So it'll put 96 volts or something. It would, and it's just not true. Having understanding enough about electricity to know that if you put two voltage sources in parallel, that the voltage stays the same and it doubles the current. And since the mic is in charge of how much current it draws, it won't hurt the mic. It's just so a backup. So yeah. I'll set up a, yeah, it's redundancy rather than damage. Um, so being able to have someone say, hey, if you put two phantom sources, I never thought of it. Two phantom sources, it'll burn up a mic. It's like, no, it won't. Let me go check it out. No, it doesn't. Here, let me show you this. So we'll, we'll, um, uh, having those fundamental building blocks will help you get farther than rote memorization.